Do you find it hard to furnish a small room? Choosing the right pieces and arranging them to make the best use of the space can be a bit of a challenge. So we're going to get some tips from designer Shai DeLuca Tomasi. <laughs> A little white looks perfect. So welcome to my living room. I bought you a condo, Trace. <laughs> Thank you. You're such a good friend. I know, I know. <laughs> so we're talking about small spaces. Yeah. But there's this myth out there that if you live in a small space, you have to go to specialty stores to buy small furniture. Yeah. And if you've ever sat on small furniture, it's very uncomfortable. No, not enough room for my whole bum. What? <laughs> I want the whole, I like the very gracious furniture, the I'm big with you. sofas. I'm with you. Right? You want to curl up in there, you want to have company over. Yes. I mean, maybe you don't want to have them stay a long time, so you don't want to get <laughs> super comfortable, but you want to be able to have people sitting where they need to sit, right? Right. Okay, so I didn't just buy you a condo, Trace. We got to go shopping for furniture, too. Let's do Shall it. we? All right, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got to fit, we've got to make that's a living room That's 9 by here. 10. Yeah. That's 9 by 10. Okay. And we've got to make everything kind of fit. So when we look back at the floor plan, the larger opening is your window. Okay. The smaller opening is your door. Oh, you're just going shopping. All right. No, go, go for ahead. It. Explain, explain. <laughs> I just want, I like this love seat. All right, I love that love seat. So let's see. I want you to choose in the store the things that you think are going to work in the space. All right? Okay. So you chose a love seat already. Where yeah. would you put the love seat? Let me help you with this. Thank you, because it's a heavy catch. It's a heavy, it's a heavy one. I want to put, it, put it against this wall. Right, done. So there okay. we go. And then cool. the window's not covered the or anything. The window's not covered right now. Um, I like that wing chair. I All wonder right, if that's like that? going to fit. You know what? Let's buy a, a coffee table first. Sure. Which coffee table do you like? Um, let's do the nesting tables. As a coffee table? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine, fine. Do no. the do the round. The round. Do the round. All right. And You're where do you think you want to put that? You're making me second guess myself right in front of the table. sofa. Okay. Cool. All right. Now I need what a else? chair. How you am do. I going to fit my chair? Well, you have two chair options here, a small okay. and a larger. Well, then I'm going to go with the small one. Okay. And where do you think you want to put that? I want to put it on this wall. Can okay. it fit? This wall right here? What is that? That's a doorway. Oh, okay. Move it back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> How's that? That's okay. All right. What else do you feel like you want? That's not good. Can you move my sofa over? <laughs> I'll move your sofa over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Move my sofa okay. over and then what else? Well, this is getting awkward. Maybe some side I need tables. A side table. All right. What do you think you want to do for side tables? I'll do that little one. This guy here? Okay. Yeah. Did you just want to do one, two? No, just one. Just one. I'm here? out of space. I, yeah, I guess. All right. All right. Behind Tough my chair. Client. All right. What do you think? You're That's done? That's it. I'm done. You're done. I'm going to buy some plants. <laughs> Faux plants. Yeah. Because you and I kill plants. I'm going to buy some plants. Okay. So here's the thing. So I'm looking at the floor plan here. You have the necessary pieces. I have yeah. the love seat or what we call a condo seat. Size sofa. So, just for people at home to know, there is a difference between a condo size sofa and a love seat. A condo yeah. size sofa is going to be a little bit longer. Okay. It's going to have a little bit more room. But at the end of the day, are you getting your money's worth? I say no. Okay. You have the kind of smaller table here, which in fact was a side table, but you chose it as a coffee table. Right. Not a bad thing. Not okay. a bad thing. All right. And the smaller uh, chair here with yeah. the very small side table here. Right. I see a lot of empty space here. There's a bit of space over right? there. Yeah. And you have that window. Maybe you want to look out the window. You know, right. it's just it's dead space. Okay. When you're working with a small space, nine by ten, you want to make most out of every square inch you have. All right. So we're going bigger. Can we reshop? Let's reshop. Let me take you. I'm never. Uh, I'm never tired of shopping. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> shopping <laughs> we enough. Done. Let's keep doing it. All right. So let's get rid of the it's condos. It's just that that sofa looks humongous. Right, it does. But we're going to do it? Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. So this Get is a standard side sofa. Uh -huh. This is 81 inches, which is completely standard. Oh, it still fits. It fits. And you have a lot more seating now. You can probably fit about four people. You threw this all the way Sorry, over here. Sorry, it was in my so, way. Yeah, no, no, no. That's okay. Um, so you have the, the standard side sofa, but this chair now feels a little bit small to me. You think so? A little bit. Okay. But I'm not using that space over there by the window. So put the wing chair here in there. front of the window. She I got fell it. into the trap that so many of our viewers fall into, yep. and that's not blocking the window. You have to use that space. It's prime real estate. Absolutely. And right? when you have a beautiful wing chair like this that you can actually look out of yeah. or kind of sit and, you know, just really enjoy what it is that's happening out there. Well, that's why nice. not, right? We're going big with the table, aren't we? We're going a little bit bigger, yeah. but not with a static table. Okay. okay. So what do I mean by that? Nesting? In this, well, nesting, yes, but not nesting for the coffee table. Okay. So if we're in a store, any store, guys, if you see something on the floor, you can order more. Okay? Uh, okay. So let's order a bunch of these. And these are actually side to, oof, I am out of breath. It's a lot of and work. <laughs> and 
And I'm not an easy client, no, so you're, it's okay. you're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> but what I like about things like this oh. is you can actually buy a couple of these and then create yes. a larger piece. That's so cool. Right? Yeah. So now all of a sudden I'm fitting a very tricky area, tricky yes. space to fill. Do you like that better? I love this because this way you actually have <coughs> a table for this, a table for that. You got it. Everybody should have a place to put their martini. <laughs> that is the rule. <laughs> Right? Multifunctional. Isn't that the home day rule? Yeah, that is like the first thing we learn in design school. Where to put your <laughs> martini. Okay. Now, we then have these spaces to the sides, right? Yes. So what would you put here? There's nothing that can fit here. Well, the nesting tables. You think they can fit in there? I do. Okay. So we're going to do it the lengthwise, not the widthwise. Okay. And we actually have two. So okay. I'm going to give you one to your side and one to my side. Oh, they just fit. They just fit. Okay. Now, here's the thing about these nesting tables. Yeah. I want to make sure that I have as much surface area as possible. Yeah. So if I were to choose, let's say, for example, another one of the side tables and put a lamp on it, yes. I've now taken up all that room. Uh-huh. The nesting tables cheated a little bit. So we're going out rather than wide, oh. but I can hang a pendant. Yes. And now I'm not taking away any of that uh, surface area. Which okay. is really important. This is right? good. So how does this layout feel to you now? This feels great. Much better. I mean, I notice there's also a lighting fixture. Do we just leave that? Well, the lighting fixture is not going to work here. Okay. It could. I mean, we could put it next to the table over there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, next to the chair over there. Yeah. But I would like to see two pendants instead, and I yes. think what that's going to do is frame this a lot better. Now we did do a cutout also for you to see. So when the nesting tables are open, they're mm -hmm. that wide. But when they're closed, they're only this wide. Right. So it feels, so you know, you might have one open on one side, one closed on the other side. All of a sudden now my area feels a lot better. I can move in and around. Yep. I can sit at my sofa and reach my uh, coffee tables. Yep. I also have access from each seating point. You've got good flow going on here. You went with all of the bigger furniture yes. pieces that I didn't necessarily think could fit. And I'm inviting you over for a drink. Let's do it. Because you've done a really hot. good. <laughs> give it up for shot. <laughs> Since we're so good at this, to redesign another small room, it was about 100 square feet right here at our studio. Take a look. I already have big plans for this small space. I'm going to transform it into one of our green rooms where celebrities hang out before they go on air. And the room is complete. A quick shopping trip to Ikea and we are done. So let's start with the larger pieces. What I wanted to show you guys is that a smaller room doesn't necessarily have to have small scale furniture. It's really about scale and proportion versus dimension. The sofa itself looks big, it's nice and comfortable, but I cheated a little bit. Rather than going wider, I went deeper. I added additional seating here with this great salmon colored chair. And then of course we have the poof, which is great for footrest, but you can also use it as additional seating. Now standard coffee tables can be a little bit of a challenge in a small space because they tend to be larger, rounder, sometimes square. So what I decided to do was repurpose this bench and actually use it as a coffee table. Why? Benches tend to be a little bit more narrow and longer. Perfect for the space. The side tables are actually nesting tables and when you're designing a small space, of course, making the most out of every square inch that you have is key. Nesting tables, again, play to the depth and not to the width. The millwork was existing and we didn't want to remove it, but I repurposed it and made it into a coffee bar, which is perfect for those early morning shoots. Of course, every space should have a little bit of greenery to liven it up, but as you can see, there are no windows and no natural light in here. So we got these great faux plants, hung them on this ladder, and in the event that we don't want to use the plants anymore, we can always use this as a magazine rack. Finally, I wanted to use a paint color that really brought everything together, so Benjamin Moore white stone on the walls is a nice, quiet color, really the perfect backdrop to the beautiful pops of color that we have in this space. And finally, all that's left to do is to sit back, relax, and channel my inner celebrity.